It is almost like what the Beatles must have encountered when they first came to America. Fans from coast to coast are going wild these days, screaming and crying at red carpet events, hoping to get a glimpse of the actors starring in Twilight, a new movie based on some smash hit vampire books. And if teenage girls and their moms have their say, Twilight will be one of the biggest movies this holiday season. Call it Twilight Mania. At malls from Dallas to Seattle, San Francisco to Philadelphia, young fans by the thousands are barely able to control themselves. We were all here very, very early yesterday yeah. and slept through the night until 7 in the morning. Because he loves my life. <laughs> the reason for my existence, and I love him. And it's not just kids. Even Twilight moms are lining up. He is the perfect man. He's he honest, he's effective, he's caring and loving, even though he's a vampire. Robert Pattinson plays the movie's dashing hero. This is what it looked like when he arrived at the Mexico airport. Complete mayhem. Twilight's advanced ticket sales are through the roof, and the soundtrack reached number one within a week of its release. All this for a film that hasn't yet opened. Experts say this global sensation is all about the books. When I was reading it, I really felt like something extraordinary was happening. But I could never imagine that thousands of girls would show up at a Stephanie Meyer reading and screaming and crying and tattooing themselves with the titles and women naming their babies after the characters in the books. It is a teenage love story of life and death, literally. 17-year-old Bella Swan falls in love with a classmate, Edward Cullen, who happens to be 100 years old and not human. Say it. Vampire. Are you afraid? No. Twilight's author Stephanie Meyer says she wanted a love story with a twist. No matter what the problems you have in your relationship, it's not going to get much harder than if the person you're in love with wants to kill you. And it's just all about making a relationship interesting and different and have that vital spark that makes it so you can't put the story down. At least it was for me writing it. I could not stop because I had to find out if he was going to kill her if he was going to love her. What if I'm not the hero? What if I'm the bad guy? You're not. All this early excitement has filmmakers hopeful that Twilight will take a big bite out of the box office when it opens Friday. How could you not like him? Gorgeous. <laughs> if you're watching this, Robert Pattinson, marry me. And he is watching Robert Pattinson <laughs> plays Edward Cullen, the vampire. Kristen Stewart plays Bella Swan, the human who is not afraid of him. Good morning to both of you. Nice to see you guys. Take a look out there, out that window. That is just a few of the fans that seem to be following you guys wherever you go these days. Did you have any idea what you were in store for when you signed on for this film? Uh, a big no? <laughs> no way. Uh, yeah, that's a conclusive no. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, there, it seems to me that there are the people who know these books and are obsessed by them, and the folks who've never heard of them before. Where did you fall in that before? Robert, um, had you heard I, of the books? Did you know much about the character? No, I mean, I was living in England, which they've only just started taking off within the last three months in England. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, had, I had no idea. I just thought it was, I'd read the script. I barely knew that they even were books. <laughs> I just kind of thought, you know, it's, it's a Catherine Hardwick movie with, uh, with Kristen. I'd just seen Into the Wild, and that's the only reason I went to the audition. <laughs> because, because Kristen was, and he had a little bit of crush on Kristen, right? Still do a little bit, or? Oh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know about the books, Kristen, when you started? Uh, no. No, I don't know. I, I, I go to used bookstores most of the time. I don't know how I missed it. But you know, they are such, people are truly obsessed that when you, once you found out and that you were going to play this character, Robert, particularly this guy, girls are in love with him in a crazy way. Was that intimidating for you? Were you scared I, I of the really, part? I, I didn't really, I, I didn't really know. I knew it was a kind of impossible part. The character breakdown was literally, uh, Edward is the ideal being. <laughs> so even going for the audition, it was kind of, it's kind of embarrassing to even turn up, but um... What do you say? Hi, I'm the ideal guy, or...? I just thought, yeah, maybe I, I read this, I think I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, it was just kind of, yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of embarrassing to turn up, but I, I didn't really know about this obsessional, devotional fan base to him. I only found out after I shot it, luckily. Is it scary, in a way? No, it's kind of... It's just amusing now, because I mean, I get, uh, you know, people just project their idea of the character onto me, and they just assume, you know, I'm insane, <laughs> when uh, I'm 
I'm just really not. And so it, it makes it makes my life very easy. <laughs> I know there were five thousand people who tried out for your part, and Kristen, you're the one who said it's got to go to this guy. Why? Um, because he's not perfect. That whole ideal <laughs> man Thanks. thing is not is, is something that is so undesirable. I, um, I mean, the whole point of the character is that he's really small inside, and that it, there's it's all of that strongness is on the surface. So. Um, he came into the audition looking terrified and, and like he shouldn't be there. And it was like, perfect. You're the guy. He looked like, you know. It's <laughs> a very backhand compliment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it is a little bit. Do you understand why this, this series is as popular as it is? What it is about this vampire that makes this so appealing to young girls? Have you figured it out? I don't know. I think it's sort of like an undefinable thing. It's like, what stirs you up? You know, it's sort of like... Besides, on the surface, when you sum up this movie in like a sentence, it sounds really shallow and uh, just like ideological, which is not something that you should present to so many young girls. But that's the whole point: is that it's not, it's not like that. Under the surface, it's really like a strained, impossible, difficult love, and it takes a really strong girl to put to put herself in that position. So I think people people get off on that. Well, I know the folks out there. Some of them would love to ask you questions. Can we go out there and just take a few? Yeah. Ready? Oh, we're going Let's to go. go absolutely. Now. Let's go right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. The opening is tomorrow. Oh, nice <laughs> people, are gonna, people are literally going to freak out when we go outside. You do, really. do you now have uh, bodyguards with you all the time, yeah. Robert? Yeah, my friend Dean. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe we better bring Dean along. We're going to head right out. Just a oh, oh, are we on the news right now? We're on right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, guys. I'm a little scared to face them. <laughs> so they're all pretty nice. Okay. To your face. Do you get a lot of weird questions from the fans when you're out there? What's it like to kiss a vampire, Kristen? Is it true that they have said to you that they will uh, give you their blood? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. It's okay. Here's your clothes. Let's go this way, guys. And where are we going, Mark? Who's got the first question? Hi. What was the hardest part of playing your characters? <laughs> you hear this? Uh, the hardest part of playing your characters? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, probably being like so exposed and like wide open all the time because the only way to the only way to do this story right is if it's like incredibly honest. So I had to be like very fair. That was difficult. And you, Robert? Most difficult part of playing my character. Um, I guess trying to uh, trying to be scary when you're supposed to be being pretty at the same time. I guess that's probably the hardest thing. Okay. Okay. Is the character that you play in the movie a lot like how you are in real life? Oh. Uh, I kind of made it. I kind of made it like a little bit more like I'm in real life than than, uh, than it is in the book. Do you, do you find it incredibly sexy or what is it? Yeah, I got it! What is the appeal? It's a vampire. Um, yeah, but it's Edward Cullen. I mean, come on! But why? Why? I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I was Does he know it's wrong? Does he know it's wrong? Does he know it's wrong? To be in love with a vampire? Yeah. Oh, okay. Any more questions? One more? Yeah, boop, boop, boop. Oh, we guys. Um, <laughs> so there are a lot of pressure to try and accurately portray Edward Cullen since so many people love him so much? That's a good question. Um, I, I didn't... Uh... Not really. I mean, I didn't. I didn't know anything about it when I was when I was doing it. It was only now. <laughs> <laughs> from the trailers that you've seen, thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> Major thumbs up. All right, Robert Pattinson, Kristen Stewart. Thank you so much. Good luck. You're you're on for a while.